пятой зажигалкой все-таки она попала в цель. Majar and his Baba Yaga unit remands as a terrifying terror from the sky for the Russian occupiers. Results of effective work of Ukrainian Baba Yaga type heavy bomber drone on Russian positions using incendiary munitions. Пятой зажигалкой все-таки она попала в цель. Вот блиндаж есть горит. Оборудование убрали в этот блиндаж. О, нихуя ебаш! Everyone is talking about Chasiv Yar these days. Well, I'll talk about it too. The city is located almost entirely on a defensive height. It is a key height of the largest cities in the Donetsk region. If Russia can take the city, it could potentially accelerate its advance deep into the Donetsk region. As I said, can or could. The presence of a newly constructed defensive line is very helpful here. In fact, the city and the area around it is a fortress with well-developed fortification systems and bunkers. Even if Russia takes the city, it will not be a breakthrough. Because this fortification system does not end in or at the city. It is multi-layered. Many experts believe that it is possible that Russia will have to accept the same or even more losses to capture Chasiv Yar. Whether this is possible, given the increasingly visible shortages, remains to be seen. The fact is that Sursky has assigned reinforcements, more ammunition and more drone troops to the brigades here. So this will be another focus. Russia must be forced to continue to wear out. And now that the ammunition problem has eased somewhat, this is possible, or will be possible. Don't let pessimistic news influence you too much. And when you see Russian reserves, then you will see for yourself that things could be better, but are far from desperate. And when you see that the Ukraine obviously wants to consciously fight the defensive battle for Chasiv Yar, I believe that they want to inflict horrendous losses on the Russians. Here is a satellite image of a T-72 stored in Russia. Open hatches allow water to get in and the loading machines, for example, rust and are irreparably damaged. But these are in short supply in Russia. One of the reasons why the Russians do not reactivate so many T-72S Tomsk, Russia, the dam is about to burst. Nobody is trying to save it. This will be bitter for the city. Russia's leadership has long been aware of the problems of the dilapidated infrastructure in the face of climate change and the projected floods at the beginning of spring. Nevertheless, they decided to mobilize water management engineers and disaster relief workers for the three-day special operation, which is now getting a little out of hand. I'm telling you again, we'll put everyone on pitchforks. Residents of flooded Orenburg in Russia complained at a meeting with local authorities that the Ministry of Emergency Situations is not working, but helping people only for the sake of a nice picture on TV. <laughs> За заработанные деньги заплачу, за то, что построил, заплачу налоги. Сейчас вы мне говорите, если ты там не прописан, ты никто. А я потерял за всю жизнь, работал, блядь, и этот, как его, потерял теперь все. Понимаете? А вы сейчас успокаиваете меня. Не надо меня успокаивать. Я пятеро, семь суток не сплю. Вы приехали, 
ехали, блядь, на картинку стелись, вас красиво по телевизору показывали. МЧС работает, пирожки развозят, воду развозят. Ни хрена ничего не разводят. Ни хрена. Вот так вот в воде. Смеется, им говорит, там люди ждут. Он мне в глаза смотрит и смеется стоит. Я ему говорю, ты в форме, в погонах, ты что смеешься? Он улыбается, стоит и говорит... Ничего, подождут. Я говорю, там человек лежачий, сутки ждет, номер телефона возьми, езжай. А он стоит и смеется. Мы лодку пронести не можем, они технику поставили. Я говорю, машину убери. Он говорит, обходи. У меня задание перекрыть. Что, это нормально? Милиция приехала, и я так говорю, же, и так же будет, пропускай. И так же будет с выплатами, люди. Так же будет с выплатами. Следующий год. Ни хрена ничего нам не выплатят. Бессовестно. Пока власти. Пока вы. Пока вы. Подождите. Подождите. Пока, пока вы не подключитесь. Пока вы будете не с народом. Пока ведь вы будете не с народом. Никто нам ничего не заплатит. Вот сейчас мы не требуем никаких отставок. Мы не требуем никаких блокировок власти. Мы требуем того, чтобы вы были с нами. New low-resolution satellite imagery shows what appears to be one impact area from an Iranian missile strike on the Nevatim airbase in southern Israel. Ignore the shadows from the few pesky clouds. The Jordanian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ayman Safadi, has summoned the charged affair of the Iranian embassy in Amman. After threats against Jordan were presented earlier today by the Iranian government due to the participation last night of the Royal Jordanian Air Force in the interception of Iranian one-way suicide drones heading towards Israel. Senior U.S. defense officials have now revealed that the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers, USS Kearney, DDG-64, and USS Arleigh Burke, DDG-51, were the two ships of the U.S. Navy that were in the Eastern Mediterranean and launched Standard Missile 3SS, SM-3S, to down between four and six Iranian medium-range ballistic missiles last night over Israel. Besides the four to six Iranian medium-range ballistic missiles that were downed by the USS Arleigh Burke, DDG-51, and the USS Kearney, DDG-64, a majority of the missiles during Iran's attack against Israel were intercepted by the Israeli Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 surface-to-air missile system. However, there is believed to have been one missile that was downed by a MiAM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile battery with the U.S. Army in the northern Iraqi city of Erbil which was only recently deployed there to the U.S. consulate and Erbil International Airport after the Iranian ballistic missile attack in January of 2024. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members-only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.